Hello guys, I'm back. My name is Jefferson Costa and I teach students, graduates and engineers how to work with chemical process engineering and plan design. And today I am here to answer the following question that I received on my LinkedIn profile. And what is the difference between pressure relief valve and safety valve? To answer this question, let's take a look in the API 521. If we go to API Recommended Practice 521, Pressure Relieving and the Pressure Resistance, in item 3, we have the terms, definitions, anachrons, and abbreviations. And it is in this item that APIs defines what is relief valve, safety valve, and also safety relief valve. So, the relief valve, according to the API, is a spring-loaded pressure relief valve actuated by the static pressure upstream of the valve, which normally opens in proportional to the pressure increase over the set pressure. And there is a note, a relief valve is normally used with incompressible fluids. So, a uh, relief valve is a device with a spring-loaded that actuators that opens based on the action of uh, incompressible fluids according to the EPI. If we go to safety valve, spring-loaded pressure relief valve actuated by static pressure upstream of the valve, so the same description that we have in the relief valve, and characterized by the rapid opening or pop-up action. So, a uh, safety valve is normally used with compressible fluids. So, you can see that the action, the way that both are action is the same, but what differentiates both of them, relief valve and safety valve, is mainly the fluid. What kind of fluid is being handed on by this pressure safety device? It's compressible fluid or incompressible fluid. And there are another definition here that is safety relief valve. Spring-loaded pressure relief valve that can be used as either a safety valve or a relief valve depending on the application. So basically, what differentiates one valve, one term from another is its use. But let's see what the industry says about this subject. If we go to Lessa website, and Lessa is a worldwide manufacturer for pressure relief devices, we'll see this chart here where we have the classification of pressure relief devices. So we start that pressure relief devices can be reclosing devices and non-reclosing devices, and non-reclosing devices include rupture discs and pin actuated devices. And I have a complete video related to rupture discs, uh, definitions, use, and etc. You can find it on my YouTube channel. And the other classification is reclosing devices. That is classified or divided in direct load and controlled. We are not interested in controlled. We are interested in direct load that defines or splits the loading principles in two ways. Spring loaded, so as we have seen in the API, relief valve and safety valve are spring loaded devices, and we have the weighted loaded. So, based on the lesser, uh, safe, uh, pressure relief device can be classified as spring loaded or weighted loaded, considering the loading principles. And there is no differentiation between safety, safety valve, relief valve, or pressure safety valve. Because it is a nomenclature informed or according to ASM that was used also by the API. So based on the function of the pressure relief device, it can be classified as relief valve, safety valve, and safety relief valve. Now, let's take a look in the Emerson catalog, and Emerson is one of the industry leaders in pressure relief valve technology. They are responsible for the Anderson, Greenwood, Crosby, and Varec brands. So, according to their catalog, they classify the spring-loaded valves as direct spring pressure relief valves and also safety valves. 
the main differences between these two kinds of valves that they they offer is that safety valves according to them is used for steam service while the pressure relief valves are used for other gases including steam so if we navigate in the catalog we'll see for instance that the anderson greenswood series 60 are able to set pressure for gas vapor liquid or gas thermal relief applications and if we go down in the catalog when we get the safety valve so here we have the cross style safety valve we have here service as steam so they classify their products in safety valve and pressure relief valves so what is the main point with this video the main point here is that although the internet there are a lot of discussion what is safety valve what is relief valve in the end the manufacturers don't see to worry too much about that they need to produce a device a orifice actuated by a spring and that orifice must be able to handle the required relief load calculated by the chemical process engineer so in my point of view, you must focus on what are the case, case scenarios or safety scenarios required to do the calculation of the relief load and also how are the equations available to do the calculations of the orifice depending on the different fluids that are being handled, liquid, vapor, steam, and etc. Based on that, you will be able to perform your, your job as a chemical process engineer and also as a chemical process engineer in plant design. So this is it. I hope you like it and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye bye.